Hi Libra, welcome to your new moon in Cancer. Love tarot reading for June. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So Libra, let's see what's going on for you, whatever your love situation may be. We're going to take whatever comes out here. So when you think of Cancer, you think of the crab, has the shell, can go within. This is a time of introspection going within what's best for your well-being and your highest good, and maybe bring that forth and making it uh, reality or doing what's best for you as you think of the chariot, which is that positive movement forward, success, victory, new moon, you know, new intentions, new energy, new beginnings as well. And Cancer does represent the house of home, family, and relationships as well. So we'll see how this plays out into your reading here. And now if something shows up you have no interest in, that's probably not your reading. I really have to stress that. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned, and you definitely can flip switch, so use your intuition. When you're like, no, that's me, yes, that's me, you know, just follow your intuition. And um, cross watchers as well could be same messages for you or reading messages for you. So, so we have here daydreams, decisions, seven of cups, and then we have the ace of wands new vitality so we have seven which is a divinely guided spiritual energy and one is a new beginning so you may be uh you know daydreaming or hoping and wishing for someone to make a decision to bring in new beginning here very exciting new beginning you may be feeling a little disillusioned i mean i see the seven and one as eight action putting in the work i wouldn't necessarily add them together but sometimes spirits like oh add them together you know infinity as well Maybe past lives with the person here. We do have the rainbow here for a lot growth expansion as well. All right. So Libra, let's see what else we need to know. Everything you need to know is down below. So your dis uh, your descriptions <laughs> in the description box. Your playlist are down there, and you can still check out your June readings if you like to. And July has started to go out. Your monthly, your love. After this, I'll be doing money and career. If you're new here, check below for all the content. Eight readings a month, two a week times, days, all that's down below. And keep an eye out on the community tab as things may change in a couple of months, full-time job, overtime. If I need to change things, that's where you'll find all that info. All right, this one here, summer, warmth, growth, expansion, you know, everything in full bloom. And we have awakening. So you th think of summer, um, you think of the sun, and we do have sunflowers here, which, you know, the sun brings in everything positive, warmth, growth, expansion, love, success, victory, uh, healing energy. So everything in full bloom with this summer energy, you know, the warmth and healing energy of the summer sun, we have awakening. So definitely the summertime, there could be some awakenings here. So if you've been kind of wishing and hoping, feeling a little disillusioned at times, um, there could be new vitality coming in the summertime. So I kind of see this awakening kind of is giving me spring vibes. So spring into summer, definitely something something exciting could be happening in your situation. Or it could be even a new connection. So however that resonates for you. All right, Libra. Libra, Libra. Um, also, Libra, I have a Twin Flame channel. Link is below if you'd like to check that out. I'm focusing probably more on collectives over there. I just don't have time to do Zodiacs on both channels and a full-time job. So if you're interested over on that channel, what I provide, feel free to check it out. Okay. The Shadow Queen and the Lady of the Mirror. So we have Acquiring Knowledge, Insecurity, and Manipulation 16, which is 7, which you started with 7. We have the Lady of the Mirror, Reflection, Not Judgment. So we have 44. 4 is a stable, grounded energy. Hmm. So 7 and 4, which would be 11, Life Path, Soul Path energy. I'm feeling like here, um, Libra, work, for, work through your shadows and your fears now. So deep that do that deep reflection now because I feel like, you know, we are in, well, we are coming to the end of spring, going into summer. So I feel like if you've had any disillusions here or um, Seven of Cups confusion, now it may not be you, but there's something about healing that shadow work. 
and facing truths and reflections because this will be the awakening of, I think, a new connection coming in for you this summer. And it could be, you know, cancer season the next month as well. I'm just saying. So let's see what's going on here. For cancer. Uh, I was going to say cancer. Libra. <laughs> Libra. Let's see. Libra, Libra. Now, if you're already connected to somebody and you're like, no, I don't want anybody new, it could be that somebody here, it could be them, needs to work through their shadows and fears, face their own reflection, and have that awakening. Because somebody definitely can breathe new life, either into a connection or into their own life. All right. Libra, let's see what's going on for you. Or Libra, let's see. Magician. So making things happen here. Gemini Virgo. Do we have here, look at this. Oh my goodness. The Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, and the King of Swords. So this definitely could be you, Libra. I mean, for me, it's Gemini. So it definitely could be you or another air sign. So definitely a lot of healing over endings. So you may, may have recently or maybe in the past you've gone through an ending. Maybe you're still healing. So that's where the shadow work comes in and, flate and facing the mirror and reflection and being very open and honest with yourself. And I did feel that energy and it's kind of coming through right here because then once we face our shadows and heal them, it awakens the energy for new growth expansion for new energy to come in, which is manifesting right here. Interesting. All right, let's see. What else do we need to know? The moon. Well, there's that new moon energy. Six of Cups. Fears of the past. Childhood fears. Fears of the past. Seven of Cups. Twice here. So you could be worried about, you know, getting into anything new. Is it going to be like my past where I'll feel disillusioned, uncertain, or a lot of secrets? All right, let's see. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of holding back here. Protecting. Five of Swords. Out of fear of being hurt, stabbed in the back. King of Wands. Could be a fire sign coming in. Leo energy. Or Leo Erie Sag. You could be holding back or someone... Because this is fire, so somebody could be... Could be a, a fire sign holding back from you maybe they're going through this or you're holding back from a fire sign because there's a lot of fear illusion about the past repeating itself is what i feel here so a lot of holding back protecting but again it's time to deep reflect here and heal those things of the past that still hold a lot of fear within your heart so i do have leo pisces that could be you up there or gemini gemini virgo Male or female, doesn't matter. Counseling or therapy may benefit you or them or however this resonates. You could be hoping and wishing for someone to return. But I'm not really feeling that energy. Let's see. Yeah. So fear, doubt, worry, stress, anxiety, Capricorn here with the devil. Uh, low self-esteem maybe even. Temptation. Knight of Swords. Taking action quickly. That's Aquarius or it could be you. Two of Cups. Soulmate, High Priestess, Intuition, Higher Knowing, Six of Wands, Success and Victory here. Your intuition may be telling you that you have someone fiery coming in for you. I don't know if you've been seeing a lot of lines, whether it's like on TV or on your feed, your social media feed, or you're like, why do I keep seeing lions all the time or hearing about lions or hearing about Leos or whatever? You could actually be having a Leo come in. We have two Leo cards here. Very quickly. That actually could be a soulmate. But High Priestess, again, is your intuition, I feel like, could be telling you this. Or they could be an air sign, but I feel like this is you. And maybe you know this person, maybe you don't. Maybe you have this feeling like once we connect, it's going to take off quickly. So that could be a big fear here as well, as with the Magician, manifesting quickly. And the Ace of Wands. 
So there will be a lot of fire, passion, desire, excitement surrounding this. Oh my goodness. All right, I don't like how this fell. Okay, <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, chance for a solid new beginning here. Chariot, well, there's that Cancer energy. So, didn't we have the moon? Yeah, new moon in Cancer right here. And the Three of Swords. See, afraid to move forward in a new beginning that looks like it could be stable because of fear of a broken heart. Or something repeating itself. That's kind of what I feel here. All right, so let's see. Four. Libra. No, nope, take from the bottom. Three of Pentacles is about rebuilding. Teamwork, collaboration. Could be somebody you work with. Two of Pentacles, indecision. Weighing the pros and cons, not sure. Imbalance, needing to find balance. Back and forth. Should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I. All right, let's see what else we need to know here for you, Libra. <clears throat> Three of Wands looking to the future. So something is coming in, and you're sensing and knowing that. Knight of Pentacles. It's been a long time coming. So we have uh, Taurus energy. So maybe you've been single for quite a long time here. But for a long time, you always felt like something was coming. It's just been taking forever. King of Cups, Pisces energy, Eight of Cups, Six of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. So definitely here, I feel like there's a faded, destined connection coming in here. Somebody will have a lot of love and reciprocal energy to give to you, but you may, again, fear it, walk away here like, mm, I don't know about this, second guessing it maybe. It is a fair and balanced energy here with the Six of Pentacles. So we have Pisces. We have Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. All right, so let's just see what else we need to know. Just a few more. So something definitely is coming in here. Definitely. The wheel. The strength. Very strong connection. Emperor. But it could be here, uh, we have Aries, Strength. So a strong connection that cannot be denied. Again, Leo energy. Maybe even past lives together. But it's about willpower, determination, being strong, courageous, and brave. You may hold back. You may not trust the Emperor. I mean, in reverse, cannot be a good, sometimes cannot be good energy. So I don't know if this is just your energy projecting onto that, like not trusting it. But let's see. Six of Swords. This person can, you know, is a very healing, balanced energy moving forward, leaving all BS behind. Indecision here with the Two of Swords. Then we have the Lovers, Gemini. So this actually could be a soulmate. But I feel like you may not trust it here. That's kind of what I feel. It could lead to long-term wealth, growth, abundance here with the Ten of Pentacles. And I had said this Ace could lead to the Ten. Five of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Tower. Big change. King of Pentacles. Someone is stable, grounded. Virgo energy. I don't think like your past. That is for sure. But I think you'd definitely be conflicted about, you know, is this change, you know, change in my past or how my past was. Will this be different? Page of Pentacles is a solid offer. Capricorn energy. Five of Cups. Feeling I don't want to be disappointed. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles which is a match to the King of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. And the Queen of Cups behind that, which is a match to the King, Cancer energy, Page of Cups, invitation, offer, a gesture. So, wow. Someone here needs to face their shadows and let go of the past because what's coming in looks really promising. It's just a matter of trusting here. So I definitely feel like summer is a time here when something definitely is going to bloom. All right. So let's get you some advice and guidance, Libra. Claire Cognance, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. Yeah. So you may be getting even thoughts or things that are coming to you and it's all signs, symbols. 
career transition. I keep getting this. Your life purpose is triggered by a blessed career change. So somebody could be changing careers. Maybe this is when this all happens. Prosperity. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. So a lot of growth and abundance coming here. And a healthy lifestyle. So this could be a really healthy relationship. Or somebody needs to... Um, do that energy work to be more healthy, you know, mind, body, soul, energetically, mentally, physically, emotionally. Because there's a transition coming in, it may not be career, just a transition, and you're seeing the signs, and there's a lot of growth here for a new beginning, especially with the summer energy. I'm getting spring into summer as well. All right. Libra, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped resonate again. Thank you so much for being here. It's truly, truly appreciated. Everything you need to know is down below. Your playlists are down there. You still check out your June readings. July has started to go out. Um, monthly love. After this, I'll be doing Money Career. And also the Twin Flame channel if you would like to. So wishing you the best, Libra. And I shall see you next time.